Now, I would usually start this off by saying, welcome all nerds and agents, but let's be honest here. The only ones that are listening right now are probably nerds. You're here to get a quick overview to see if the specialization is for you or if you just need a refresher on what it does. So let's cut to the chase with this installment of the Corrupt Manual. Introducing the Technician. Say hello to the lethal lunchbox of Washington DC, the P-017 launcher. This bad girl is what happens when those working at NASA get a government contract for a rocket launcher. This launcher is quirky, not like others being able to fire up the six guided payloads of fuck you at whatever you deemed fit. Listen, I'm studying veterinary medicine, not engineering. My small primate brain doesn't quite understand how any of the electronics work, but all I really need to know is that does it get the job done and can it turn defective dogs into jelly? And my god, it fucking can't. You would think for a missile system guided by Isaac that it would actually be able to hit the shit you're aiming at. But the only thing that fails more consistently is the goddamn Firefly, which is of course guided by goddamn Isaac! Now, I've been told this is just a skill diff and get good, but that's just a load of shit. And trust me, I work with livestock animals, so I can tell you when there's a lot of it. So stop coping and let me elaborate. Since the rockets are guided, whether or not they actually hit is based on AI and rarely influenced by the skill of the operator. Now, as the wielder of this specialization, you can get into a better position to help Isaac create better paths to the target, but as soon as you pull the trigger, all skill as an agent goes out the window. The twirling motion of the rockets does not help the case of this weapon either. This leads to either rockets getting snagged on cover while trying to get to the target or whirling literally right past them. This specialization has a low barrier to entry, but at the same time a very low skill ceiling. But don't let that discourage you from picking it up, as the passive talents make up for the downsides caused by this lunchbox. If you are building into any kind of skill build, this is hands down the specialization for you. You are given passively one bonus skill tier, and depending whether you need to be a medic or DPS, you can choose between the following perks. Your deployed skills are also immune to being disrupted and shocked in addition to all party members within 5 meters of those skills. You're also given the unique skill of an artificer, which boosts your squad's skill efficiency for any deployed skill. Hell, even your armor kits apply to nearby skills. Pull out your engineering persona and sit back and blast TikToks into your mic while all your enemies fall to either your skills or your allies. You may be the least invested in the game, but you're invaluable to the squad. Just don't let that get to your head. You will be railed if the team decides to stop giving two shits about you. Hey, thanks for reaching the end of the video. If you made it this far, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be making a bunch of these videos going over skills and exotic pieces after the specializations. And if you're new to the game, you won't want to miss out on those. Alright, Corrupt Viper signing off now.